Kia ora. It's great to be here today. I'm Diana Kirkland from the Mine Lab, and today we have a great panel with us. We've been um, leading Kiwi businesses form an alliance to help accelerate digital. I've actually been pulled in because unfortunately our key presenter today, Anna Mari, has actually got COVID, so I'm hoping to do her justice. Thanks for joining us, Paul, on um, Zoom. I'll um, get stuck in. We haven't got a lot of um, time to cover today, so I'm going to jump right to you, actually, if you don't mind, Paul, and um, congratulations on your new role as Chief Economist at the Reserve Bank of New Zealand. So you are completely um, informed to share with us an answer for today with what is the digital economy and why is it important to discuss? Yeah, thanks, uh, Diana. Thanks for having me. Lovely to be here. Um, yeah, what is the digital economy? Well, it's, it's, you know, tech is everywhere. So digital is just ubiquitous, really, uh, across the place. It's getting sort of difficult to distinguish between what is the, uh, the digital economy and what isn't the digital economy. It's a, it's a general purpose technology, uh, and there's plenty of economic studies out there showing that firms that embrace uh, digital technology or industries that embrace digital or even economies uh, that embrace digital team to uh, lift their productivity. Now, I think it's really important to talk about um, this. I sort of think about the digital economy as in two distinct uh, parts to it. The first is sort of leading high tech firms, and you know we've got some excitement in that space in New Zealand, which is fantastic. So these are kind of innovative. Uh, world leading firms and the reason I sort of like that is because the sort of fundamental reason why our productivity has been uh, poor over recent decades is our economic geography, the fact that it's been small and distant. Uh, but the nice thing about digital is it sort of takes geography out of the equation. So I'm in Wellington, you're in Auckland. You know, it's not the same as being there, but, you know, we wouldn't be doing this if it was not for tech, uh, tech not digital technology. So that's great. Um, but I think it's also really important to think about, you know, just regular New Zealand firms. So it's less about sort of pushing out that digital technology frontier, uh, and it's more about just adopting digital technology, using digital technology uh, to improve the performance of those firms. So they may not necessarily be tech firms, uh, but there's a huge opportunity there. Uh, for those businesses to embrace digital technology. And again, it allows them to expand their markets. Uh, it allows them to sort of do innovation better and, and improve their, their performance. Oh, that's wonderful. Thank you for um, sharing that, Paul. And uh, I'm going to take you over now and lead you to um, Evelyn Seaworld. Thank okay. you for joining us today, Evelyn. Thanks, Hi. Evelyn is um, the programme lead for Digital Boost. She's been in the full journey since Digital Boost launched in uh, January 2020. We've seen a huge amount of small businesses engaged with that. And um, from that, would you mind sharing with me, won't New Zealand businesses just get on and digitise themselves when they see the need to? Have you got some thoughts around that? Thanks, Jai. And, yeah, definitely businesses will digitise when they see the need to. It's probably not so much about um, the digitising. I mean, we wouldn't expect to go into a cafe anymore and only have the option to pay cash. And, you know, so eventually small businesses do digitise. I think what we saw, um, certainly through the pandemic, was that businesses just weren't sure what to do and what does good look like and um, where should they focus their efforts. Because there's one thing about small businesses, they're not digital, they tend to not be digital experts. Um, you know, they're the local plumber or they, you know, they run the local... Um, cafe or they've got a chain of a few shops around the country and their expertise is in their craft, not in digital. So I guess what we really saw was that um, businesses were, um, I guess, really not sure where to invest, what they needed to do and, you know, even sort of basic things like Facebook isn't actually a website and just really that basic understanding of, of what digital actually means. So I think that's really, you know, I think di digital is here to stay. And as, as Paul alluded to, um, you know, the, the digital, it, there is no separation anymore with digital. It's really just what do businesses actually need to focus on to compete, mm -hmm. to be fluent, to actually have the success that they should be seeing in their businesses. Yeah, and we know um, over the last period, so many of the small businesses have mm. actually been just purely focusing on BAU which has actually mm -hmm. enabled them to understand areas in their business where they can digitise. 
absolutely. And I mean, the other thing is, you know, the the one thing about small businesses is they they are cash poor and they're time poor. And mm. um, you know, the the main focus is just getting on and and keeping the the doors open and um, keeping business going. So yeah, and it and it is kind of trying to balance that with trying to understand what you need to do in a digital economy that mm -hmm. um, makes it really interesting. Awesome. Thank you so much for that. And Craig, it's wonderful to have you with your, all of your years experience in tech. Um, Craig is obviously CEO for Digital Booster Lines, doing a phenomenal job with all of those organisations, bringing them on board to help um, our New Zealand small business economy. Um, the question I have for you today, Craig, is what is the Digital Boost Alliance, Aotearoa, and how did it come about? Oh, kia ora, Diane. Kia ora, everyone. Um, yeah, it, it's, it's a fascinating journey, and I think if you go back to Evelyn talking about uh, the Digital Boost program, the identification that small and medium enterprises in New Zealand you know, could really do with a lift. And so I call it the COVID kickstart, actually. But, you know, people have recognised that digital and digital services could really give them that, that kickstart in their business and they're time poor and so the program was created and very you know very successful and centralized program but there was people like uh, Paul uh, when he was at the BNZ and around and, and those larger corporates that sort of looked at the program and said well what can we do how can we help because we recognize that as a collaborative group um, just of people that you know we have to work on these things together New Zealand is not a big country um, and um, you know there are two degrees of separation just um, and so we, we all know each other and so when you start talking about what can we do together to really lift um, digital skills across the board and we know that um, so there was a Google study at the beginning of last year that said there was about 46 billion dollars in GDP lift that if we could really transform uh, small and medium enterprises in our communities and individuals through digital, we would unlock that uh, GDP. That's about 14% of our GDP. Now that's not the technology industry, that is digital and technology skills across the board. Yeah. So we're not talking about the tech industry, we're talking about everybody else. And so the Alliance sort of came out of this germ of an idea. Uh, Malcolm Louie at MB, Paul Conway was at BNZ, and then I got um, brought in, uh, and our association, Two Ends, the Tech Users Association, to really build this up. And we mm. gathered around us a group of like-minded corporates who knew that they had to step aside from their competitive day you know, plans, and actually think about how can they collaborate and work together and actually put some skin in the game and, and, and actually commit to helping small and medium enterprises first, uh, communities next, and then perhaps even individuals in the long run. Oh, that's wonderful. Thank you so much for that, Craig. Which brings us, obviously, to um, you, Jonathan. It's wonderful to have you here. Thank okay. you. Jonathan's from the uh, Warehouse, the Warehouse Group mm -hmm. and um, is the Chief Customer and Sales Officer. Um, one thing that I've found with the Alliance, which is amazing, is um, probably, I'm not sure if you all know, but the New Zealand small businesses is 97% of our economy, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And um, what I've found, which has been amazing with the Alliance, is all of the knowledge and experience that they've had then, and how you've been willing to share it with the small um, businesses. And mm -hmm. I know from speaking with our customers on Digital Boost, it's of huge value. So the question that I have for you is, why should larger businesses already doing their own transformation care about others, especially small businesses? And what are some of the ways that Alliance members are supporting these businesses with their digital journeys? Yeah, kia ora. And I, it's a really important question for us especially, because one of the driving things for our business, and, and many businesses in New Zealand, is leaving you know, the country in a better state than when we found it, and making sure that as we continue um, to grow the communities and the organizations that we're a part of um, that we're really giving back. And you're right, small business is the engine of this country and it's really important that we help. And what we see um, quite often is there's kind of three areas that are really critical for us to do um, probably more than uh, we would otherwise do if we can. The first is in training and talent. And you're seeing that across New Zealand. It is so important that businesses of all size, uh, including ours, and we're a relatively 
large business, about 10,000 um, people across the organization. Um, but that doesn't mean that we're any different or we're immune to needing to be more agile or needing to have the digital skills required, as Paul was saying, to be able to communicate across borders, across boundaries. And if you're a small business listening or watching, you know, incredible talent live everywhere. They don't live within the commuting radius of your office. They are everywhere within New Zealand and in many cases outside of New Zealand. And to be able to have access to that talent and to train the talent you have today so that they can be a part of that is incredibly important. The second thing is access, and, and that's something we're really, really passionate about. And anytime we can use our scale for good, our, our mission is all about making and helping Kiwis live better every day. And anything we can do to give our scale and share it with small business, um, we will do in a heartbeat. And that you know, takes the form of many things, everything from um, you know, discounted offers on their equipment and tools that they need, uh, helping to further training and joining, of course, organizations um, like Digital Boost to be able to join other corporates and organizations to do more good together, things that we might not be able to do um, on our own. And the third is really helping small business in New Zealand, quite frankly, get a competitive advantage and to be able to compete on a global scale. And you've heard Diane and Paul talk about how you know, as a world, we're more connected than we've ever been. And if you're a small business, you don't need to just sell to the community you're in physically. You can engage with a community that is way bigger than where you are. And that really requires having access and knowledge for the tools, the platforms, being able to use Facebook to reach customers or vendors who might not be within your typical um, sphere of influence. Being able to join platforms, like we created one called themarket.com, which it gives small business in New Zealand access to not only all five million Kiwis who live here, but as we think about um, being able to grow into really interesting and new spaces, that gives uh, a small business a leg up because they don't have to do that on their own now. They can leverage and borrow the scale from somebody else. And that's one of the biggest achievements when I think about how small business can compete on a global scale. Small business in New Zealand needs to borrow scale from some of the bigger players and bigger markets so that it can compete. And digital really enables that to happen in a beautiful way. And the more that we can help and do our part, we're really, really proud to be able to do that. Uh, I mentioned some of the examples that as a member of the um, Digital Boost Alliance that we're contributing to, some of the other members are doing some incredible work, um, but really offering things like tools, discounts, access to training, access to people, um, and frankly, a forum for people to ask questions that range from incredibly um, easy to answer to really complicated, uh, and really just getting that out there and helping people connect with the technology as a means to achieving their goal, um, we think is really important. Oh, that's wonderful. Um, one thing I find that's really amazing with the Digital Boost Alliance is on platform and obviously using technology is, it just makes everything so accessible, doesn't it? Yeah. That's right. And thinking about you know how you can use technology, again, it, it's not about the technology as an end game, it's about using the technology mm -hmm. to achieve whatever it is the mission or that purpose is for that small business and that founder um, or the organization. You know, if they have a passion that needs to, uh, that really needs to reach more people to sell, reach more people to buy, or engage with more customers to grow their community, um, digital is the way to do it. And having the fluency of that is really, really important. Um, and in many respects, small business is really well positioned for that, much better than some of the bigger corporates, because we have baggage from you know, old systems, legacy choices, infrastructure that has to be brought into the modern world. Many small businesses are so nimble, they're so creative, they're so innovative, and to be able to take that innovation and just supercharge it, um, frankly, they can create com competition in space in a way that a big corporate can't. I know we're seeing that on the Digital Boost platform, the early adopters that have actually come on platform. It's just amazing how agile they are, and how curious they are to actually just get started. They've, they understand that they can actually start with digital at any part in their business. It doesn't need to be um, looking at it as a full picture. They can mm. start with one business function and build incredible technologies around that to get um, real efficiencies in their business. Which um, leads me back to you, Evelyn. And um, how, so tell me, how does the Digital Boost Alliance align with the bigger program, the Digital Boost Educate platform? And how are small businesses engaging with the platform? Mm. Um, so, thanks, Ty. I mean, as you, you know, as we've been discussing, I mean, the the alliance is really like a wrapper, I, I suppose, around um, small businesses. Um, Digital Boost itself is, I guess, really an education platform, which is really about you know self learning and and I guess really self guided um, information. And you know, we've just launched Checkable, which is really giving. In, 
giving individual businesses really, really personalized insights or actions that they can take on their business. Um, but the alliance, I guess, really just brings the, that, that kind of community wrapper around it and um, you know, su provides support, whether that's in the form of, um, you know, as, mm -hmm. as we've been discussing, um, offers or reaching out into the community. Um, they've been supporting promotions that we've been doing to help small businesses. And also, um, you know, partnering with us around, you know, some of these really big deliverables like Checkable, you know, which is uh, we've done in, in conjunction with, um, with Google, for example, who's an alliance partner. Um, really sort of just bringing, I guess, that, that much greater depth um, to small businesses. Yeah, and I know um, with the Digital Alliance, we've just obviously had an initiative which was launched not that long ago, which was um, looking at how we can digitise a small town in mm. New Zealand. And it was um, the Alliance which actually enabled a lot of that to happen. We worked with Waipawa in Central mm. Hawke's Bay. Um, we worked very closely with Zealed. Zealed did an amazing job bringing all of their expertise, their mm. resources, their services to actually work with small businesses in, a, in an area which is actually a thoroughfare, it's not a destination, and we were able to turn that yeah. to a destination, a digital destination, and actually really showcase the visibility that um, digital technology brings. Which brings me back to you, Paul. Um, now tell me, how do we make this a long-term initiative rather than just a short-term focus? Yeah, flashing the pan. Well, first of all, there's some great uh, insights uh, coming out of the the panel and and you know I think as, as far as the digital boost alliance goes well it's kind of, it's great that we've got this far it was kind of mm -hmm. just a random idea and now we're on tech TV talking about it uh, for, for me in terms of making it into a long-term initiative I think part of the kopapa here is around creating a social movement uh, just to really get New Zealanders on board with the potential benefits of digital technology so you know, just I think if the alliance comes together just to sort of show the value uh, and really get going, you know, I think that will sort of make it make it long and into a long run sort of initiative. I should just let me end, Diana, just by saying, um, you know, this group of corporates and businesses coming together, uh, you know, it's it's sort of it's 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 investment. So we've just come together to sort of encourage New Zealand to sort of move to a, a better place as far as the economy goes. Um, so, you know, a thriving New Zealand economy uh, driven by digital technologies is in everybody's best interest. So it's not, you know, it's sort of a zero-sum game. It's investing in the future. And, you know, I think for Alliance members, it's all about doing well um, by doing by doing good. And I should say the, we, the Warehouse, just listening to you talk there, you know, has been a fantastic uh, member and really, really, really gets that. And as do everybody around the Digital Boost table. It's really been cool. Um, you know, to watch competitors essentially come together and go, well, here's something that can just, you know, make sort of well-being better off in New Zealand. Let's, let's do it. Let's club together and do it. It's been awesome. Yeah, I see what's been a wonderful thing of the Alliance is, as you um, were just saying there, Paul, is competitors are actually collaborating together. And what I've found in engaging with the Alliance members, it's just been just really overwhelming how... All of the Alliance members are so purpose-driven. They are actually here focusing on trying to do good for the New Zealand economy. It's an amazing um, project to be a part of. Um, I really enjoy it. And the other thing is even smaller businesses, you know, like we're talking about the large corporates there, Paul, Ian and Craig, a lot of the small businesses are actually seeing it as a great opportunity to, to be part of something bigger than what they currently are and actually are looking to join the Alliance as well. So it's definitely a growing um, Alliance and it's... it's really getting traction, which I'm really looking forward to hear what you're thinking of next, actually, um, Craig. And that was the big question, is thinking forward. Mm. So what would success look like in five years, the big question? Well, I feel like Paul's taken some of my, um, some of my story already, <laughs> and he's talked about the co-papa of, of the group, which I think is an, is an awesome way to think about it. But as the, as the um, one of the... I suppose the CEO who's looking at how this program fits together and where it goes. Um, it's my job to keep the pedal to the metal. I'm, I'm going to speak at a whole lot of metaphors. Keep the the members, you know, feet to the fire, all those sorts of things. Um, but I say in five years' time, I'd like to see us having had made a real difference and to be, you know, significantly along that track of unlocking that forty-six billion dollars. Um, but more than that, it's about having made a real change to the way people do business and how they work together. 
And so, you know, if, if I can get to five years' time and the Alliance members are feeling still feeling a little bit uncomfortable, thinking there's more to do, we've come a long way, but we've still got more to do, that'll be a good thing. The other thing is if we've really been able to make a shift in the whole equity question, and, and Jonathan talked about access, and access can cover all sorts of things, you know, for small and medium enterprises, it's access to skills, it's access to knowledge, um, you know, and then you've got uh, socioeconomic groups where you want to give them access to simply just to the internet and the and the knowledge that they need to live in a digital world, um, to be able to break those sorts of things down, to have more Māori and Pacifica involved in technical roles within organisations mm -hmm. would be awesome to have more um, uh, females, wahini involved in tech mm -hmm. as well. If we could make a real shift in those things, but recognise that we we still have more to do, that would be a success at that point. Well, I think that's a great summary, actually. Thank you so much, Craig, for sharing right. that. Thank you, Evelyn, for sharing um, all of your experience and knowledge on Digital Boost, and Jonathan for the great work that you're doing as an Alliance member also. Um, I'll just actually, and sorry, Paul, didn't, um, thank you also for the incredible contribution that you've made today. Um, <laughs> I will just take this opportunity also to actually share once again an incredible work which an Alliance member has done, has worked very closely with the Mind Lab, which is obviously an Alliance member. They've built a product on Digital Boost platform called Checkable, which actually in that is a free diagnostic tool which en enables New Zealand small businesses to actually understand what their current visibility is online. And it then also provides a roadmap with an action plan with all the educational resources to actually help them actually increase that digital visibility online. So it's wonderful what MB's doing. It's providing these incredible opportunities for the private and the public sector to work together and actually bring all of their skills to um, the New Zealand um, small business economy. So um, I think that's it for us today, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you, Tech Week, for having us on here. And um, we look forward to seeing um, what's coming up next.